Hello friends, in this video I am going to demonstrate the technique of marking flap edge and relifting a flap in which LASIK was done 17 years back. Generally people think, surgeons think that it is difficult to lift the flap if LASIK has been done long time back. But contrary to this, it is actually very simple. So what we need to do is, we need to first find out the flap edge on a slit lamp. Let me tell you it is not easy to find flap under the operating microscope. So on a slit lamp we need to mark the flap edge and that technique I am going to demonstrate now and after that I will be demonstrating how to lift the flap taking care that there is no damage to the epithelium. So let us first see how to mark the flap edge. To identify the flap first of all we need to put fluorescent dye in the fornix. Uh, fluorescent dye will help in picking up the flap edge more clearly. Do some flaps are easily visible on slit lamp, especially flaps made with fem to laser or keratome flaps if there is scarring on the edge of flap. But modern flaps uh, with modern keratomes are not so easily visible on the slit lamp. So putting fluorescent dye helps in demarcating the flap edge. As you can see here, there is an area of pooling of fluorescent along with negative staining which is visible in a circumferential pattern. And you can see I am putting mark just peripheral to this flap edge. It is important to ensure that there is no mark over the flap or its edge because GV paint itself uh, may cause erosion of epithelium which may subsequently cause more symptoms or irritation to the patient and may also induce deep lamellar keratitis. Since we have demarcated flap edge even in the normal light you can see very faintly there is a line which is uh, circumferential in pattern which is indicative of flap edge as you can see here. Now let us move to operation theater and let us see how to lift this flap. So you can see here the GV pin mark is visible and I am pushing the spatula just anterior to the GV pin mark and just pressing the cornea and going ahead. And you can see the spatula has automatically negotiated with the interface of the flap and flap has been lifted so easily and I am able to lift the whole flap gradually. Because I am not sure whether it, it is nasally hinge flap or superiorly hinge flap, so I am going gradually and once I am sure that nasal cut is also there. Now I am sure that the hinge is definitely superiorly. I have lifted the flap and now I am putting the laser. You can see laser is going on and after laser is over, I am doing routine wash of the bed and after washing the bed, we have to put the flap as we do in routine LASIK and there is no special intervention required. I am just drying the flap with Merosil sponges ensuring that flap edges are well opposed. Friends you can notice here that there is no epithelial defect or any even micro erosions of the epithelium even at the flap edges which generally happens if we try to lift the flap haphazardly. Thank you friends for watching this video.